Okay, here we go. We've got a goldfish in here. We're just going to dip him in. Oh! Oh! He tried to bock him straight away. Anthony, get him. There he is. Oh my god! Today, we have a very special day. We're in at Aquariums Alive in Narang on the Gold Coast. And today's the day that my fish tank is ready. I ordered a little while ago. I originally ordered a four foot tank. And then I decided I needed to go a little bit bigger. So now it is six foot long and it is huge. Today we're in here, we're getting all the pumps, the lights, all the stuff to make the tank actually a livable environment for whatever fish I put in it. And now I have the dilemma of picking what fish. I was gonna get a jack, then I went barra fishing for the last few days. So now I'm seeing barra, and then I'm just looking at the peacock bass in here, and now I want a peacock bass. So I don't know what to do. So if you guys can leave a comment down below and see, leave your opinion on what I should get, that would be greatly appreciated. We might even hassle Dan to give us a run through of some of the stuff that we're putting in the tank. So when you guys get your own tank at home, you can also be kitted out. What do you reckon, Ron? Perfect. What do we got here, Dan? Can you talk me through this thing, please? Uh, so you got your filter for it. That's gonna keep the tank nice and clean. You got your chemicals to get it running. Uh, you've got your heater with a cage on it because you don't want your glass getting destroyed by some beast of a jack. Yeah. You've got an air pump to make sure it can breathe properly. Yeah. You've got a wave maker to move some water around. A wave maker? That's right. So it just keeps the current going because they like swimming in the current. So yeah, it right. keeps him moving. And then you got your lights so you can see. Are we just going white lights or are they blue uh, lights? White and blue. You're onto it, eh? I'm onto it. Yeah. You think I should get a jack? I do. Go a jack, for sure. 100%. You're making life difficult for me. Yeah, no, go a jack. You know jack. Jack. Big jack. Big jack. This is one of the options I was thinking. How do we go with those things? And they're pretty psycho too, look. If you can get one to bite your finger for this, it'd be amazing. Or you can feed them if you want. I think they're onto it now. Yeah, they're on. Oh! No, oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me want to, that was that one too. Yeah. You wouldn't do it with a jack, and just take your finger yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, you bite your head. Is he gonna go, he's a lunatic this one. Yeah, he's psycho. He's the one I'll tell you. It's gonna go, eh? It's so cool. I really like these things. They're cool fish, man. I don't like you, though. You look like a cow. They're a bit special, one. Have a bloody go at it. Two feet wide. Two feet tall. And six feet long. I can't even get it all in. <laughs> I still can't get it all in. Oh, I got this little thing there. It's huge. We put a meat along barra in there. I'm stoked, man. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Pick the good day for it, nice and wet. Not bad. <laughs> hey, Beachy. Um, all right, the tank is in. We had a bit of a mission getting it in, luckily. Oh, Chi Chi was here and he's been really jazzed up in the gym lately. And what's your boss's name again? Alan. 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 Alan from Aquariums Alive. Came and hand delivered it, cost me a carton of beers. And he even helped carry it in. So, we're locked in. You remember Dan from in the shop? Dan's actually on his day off. And he's come around and he's going to help us set up all the stuff so we don't stuff anything up. She looks pretty good. I'm a bit rattled by how big it is. Jem's really gonna trip out. That's his present for coming and helping the boys today. It's yeah. nice. All right, we've got the tank in position. What I was thinking was Jem's gonna be very annoyed if it's too far that way or too far that way. So we've tried to get it as symmetrical as possible. And now we're gonna get onto this stuff. All right, this is where Dan comes into his own. Aqua One should have sponsored this. Yeah, Aqua <laughs> One if you're watching. So, yeah. I was just asking Dan how often I have to clean the filter. He said, 
probably every three months. I was kind of thinking it could have been like every two days, but I'm stoked it's not. So when I'm away, Jem's gonna have to go cast net fish for the bloody big fish. <laughs> she can throw a cast net, can't she? No. She can pump Yabby's butt. Oh, that'll do. She's water tight, boys. What do you reckon, Yemen? No. Nah. No. Nah. So I bought a stick, like a mangrove root thing. I can't believe I actually bought a stick, but I bought a stick. This thing's gonna float, Dan reckons, for possibly two weeks till it gets waterlogged and then she'll sink and it'll be like a little snag for the Monday. I mean, for the fish that you don't know what it is yet. We got oxygen, we got pump. We're obviously full of water. And we got Arnie and Arnie's leaving. See you, GoPros. Are you gonna cry? No. Nah, you might, eh? Maybe on the drive up there. Can you cry for the camera? Nah. <laughs> what about how much you're gonna miss Chi Chi? Look at him. <laughs> oh, come visit, mate. Come visit, come visit Dad. Can't believe you're leaving us. Where are you moving to? Secret, far north Queensland. What are you gonna catch, Brim? Brims. Bony Brims, whiting. Bony Brims? Yeah, bony Brims. Couple of, um, what are those things? Bar Grunter. Permit on uh, stick bait. Oh yeah. Let's see the lights, young fella. Oh man. Okay, that looks ridiculous. Do you reckon Jem's gonna trip out on how bright the light is? Probably. Look how bright it is in here. But you can just have that on with no other lights and it's mint. Man, I'm so stuck. Look at that. Done. Done. Just need fish. So, All right, what's this stuff? So, it's a prime. It takes the chlorine out of the tap water. Yeah. Put straight tap water in there to kill them. Yeah. So, every time you do a water change or just add tap water to it, just put some of that in. Any specific amount? Three uh, cap loads. A cap full's 200 litres. We got Your tank 650, 650. So I put four in and it's fine to overdose. Okay, overdosing won't kill the fish? No. You can tip nearly the whole bottle in the Okay, cool. And that, just the best and that, that just kills the chlorine. Kills the chlorine. And what's this one? This is bacteria in a bottle. That's what allows you to put fish in tomorrow since I know how badly you want to do that. So yeah, I'm yeah. so hedgy. Yeah, so um, this one's a cat full per 80 litres and every day until the bottle runs out. Oh really? Yeah. So you're pumping it in? Yeah, and once the bottle runs out, you shouldn't really need it anymore. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, man. We're putting a Monday in here tomorrow, bro. Fuck, we could go. We can't We can't get it now, can we? No. 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 I wouldn't. I re like, you could, but I really wouldn't. Yeah, all right. It's risking it a bit. I'll wait till tomorrow. So are you good at maths? How many catfalls have we got? Oh, I'm not great at maths. Me neither. I'm just winging it. I'm just gonna say eight and we'll roll with that. I kind of like that the stick floats for the time being. Eight's pretty good. Hey? Eight's 640. Fuck yeah, that'll do. So like I said, this is 650 litres in there of water. It's really psycho. Oh. Man, thanks so much. Alrighty guys, we're back again. It's been a bit of a process with the fish tank filming on and off as it's been going, but we've got some progress here and we've got a bit going on. For me, it's something I obviously don't know much about. I did have a tank when I was a kid and I had barra in it, but I didn't really know what I was doing. And I still don't, so it's a work in progress. I'm learning as I go. And I'm gonna run you through it as it happens. So if you guys decide to get a tank like what I've done, and you come across the same things and we can all learn and work together and make it all work. So anyway, last night I went and picked up my first fish for the tank. It was a friend of a friend, had a barra, it's about 45 centimeters long. I gave him 50 bucks, went and got him. Getting him out of his original tank was a bit of a mission. Getting him into this tank was a bit of a mission as well, but he's in. I put him in last night, he was obviously a bit rattled from the drive, had the lights on. He was just sitting on the bottom. Dan from Aquariums Alive sent me a message saying, hey, if he's like, if he looks a bit stressed, just turn the lights off 
and it'll help him de-stress. As soon as I turned the lights off, he came up off the bottom, cruising around the tank, and he was happy. Today, I've woken up, the water's looking a little bit cloudy, I'll give you a look. See that water there's a little bit cloudy? That's no lights on, obviously. There's Anthony, just chilling. Anthony Mundane is his name. Look at him. It's pretty sick. I'll give you a look with the lights on, hold on. So that's with the lights on. He's about probably 45 centimeters now. That's the tank. You can see that water's a bit cloudy. So what I've done, I've taken a bit of water out and I'm gonna take it in. I just spoke to Dan and I'm gonna take it in. They're gonna test the water for me. I've added in this morning um, eight bottle caps of the Stability, three bottle caps of the Prime to get the water good. And uh, yeah, Dan said there might be an ammonia build up happening. So he's gonna test the water and we'll see how we go. Also today while I'm there, I'm gonna get a couple of feeder fish for him. I know I only put him in last night, but um, the guy I bought him from said he feeds him three live fish a day. So I'm just gonna get a couple, I'm just gonna put them in and just see how, re how he reacts to them. So I'll film that for you as well. I'm real excited to get him eating and feeding. It's really cool, I'm loving just having him here. He's like, when I go up to him and put my face up near the tank, he kind of comes up and looks at me and stuff. And I think it's the same with any like animal, you gotta spend time with them and become acquainted and earn their trust and show that you're not gonna hurt them and build a relationship. And, that's what I want to do with him and the next fish I'm going to get. Um, eventually I want him to just be able to eat out of my hand and all that kind of stuff. So I think he'll do it. Barra are pretty good with that kind of stuff from all accounts. And my old ones when I was a kid, I used to smash everything that went into the tank. The plan is to do like one of these videos a month where I give you update, feeding, all that kind of stuff. And uh, if you enjoy it, leave a comment down below and we'll um, get doing it. Should be pretty cool. I'll answer questions. All right, so we've done the water test. What do we got going on, Dan? Uh, so I got a bit of ammonia there, which is that one there. So that's your fish waste. So that's what will kill your fish the quickest. All right, if so I got up this morning and he'd done a few big poos and that's making the water a little bit cloudy. So what's the remedy? Uh, time, stability, prime, and a water change. Okay. So, water change will remove the waste from the water, stability will put in the bacteria to break the waste down. Yeah. And yeah, that's basically it. This is a full time job, this fish tank. It is. Just wait, while we're here, which one of these am I getting? This one. That's it. This is the next fish I'm putting in. If it'll focus on him. There we go. Look at that guy. Peacock bass, what kind is he? Uh, Calberry. Do you want to finger him? <laughs> oh, he's so gnarly. It's always him, too. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty brave. That's three in a row. That's the one I want, aggressive. I haven't been fed in a couple days, so they're pretty He's psycho. a psychopath. You can have five. Okay. But that's all. No more than that. That's the barramundi food for today. We got some black sand from the bottom. We got some salt. That'll help him. Heal the little ding on his head. We got food. Oh my god, I am excited. It is time, baby. What do you reckon, Anthony? What do you reckon of these? Hey? I don't know what to do here, whether to just put them in in the bag. See what happens. They're in now, in the bag. I don't know if he's gonna eat. I'm gonna take one out. Okay, here we go, we got a goldfish in here. I'm just gonna dip him in. Oh! Oh, he tried to bock him straight away. Anthony, get him. Go and get him, you missed him. You missed him, he's just over there, bro. How did you miss? See him. See him and go and get him. There he is. Oh! 
Oh my god! <laughs> you psychopath! Yes! Alrighty guys, welcome back. Uh, last few videos, Barramundi craziness. Hope they, hope you really enjoyed them. I had a ball fishing for them and even editing the footage. Like sometimes editing can be a bit of a punish. But editing that was actually really fun just because uh, the fishing was so mental. Anyway, today, I'll give you a little update what's going on. We got Anthony in here. Say hi, Anthony. He's looking pretty good. First couple of days, he was a bit sluggish, just a bit stressed out getting used to the tank. Now he's like getting skitsy. Tank's looking good. I put some black sand in, but I need to obviously get more. There's Anthony's poos over there. So today what we're gonna do, I fed him, I bought him five feeder fish from Aquariums Alive the other day. He smashed them. So, look at him. What I wanted to do today was, uh, I'm gonna take the cast net down. I'm gonna try and find an area where I can cast net some live mullet, uh, herring, anything like that. Any kind of bait fish that he's gonna smash. He's showing some interest in my hand a couple of times, like right now. So what I really want to do with him is get him the liveies and I want him to eat them out of my hand. And I want to film it and show you guys because when he eats, when he eats something off the surface, it's incredible. I'm going to take the cast net down. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's been raining a lot. As always with this kind of stuff, finding somewhere to go and do something. I've been on Google Earth and I found a couple of likely looking areas from what I can see. And uh, I'm going to give him a go. Hopefully my brain works correctly and there's actually something there. Car's locked. Great start. You guys are lucky we don't have smell of vision for this one because the silver dildo reeks. Christmas beers. Yes, I need to mow my lawn. Cast net probably definitely going to get snagged here. Haven't seen any bait. There's rocks everywhere. I just nearly stood on a human shit. Probably because there's no toilet paper left anywhere. Probably slip over and get my new phone ruined. Because it's really slippery. It's not a bad toss. Big snag straight away. That was a mission because um, super windy, didn't even bother filming because it was so windy and because it's been raining heaps, everywhere's full of fresh water so all the bait has just been pushed out and it's gone. I managed two small potty mullet. I'm also going to film on my phone for TikTok. If you're not on TikTok yet, Brooksy's YouTube's not going so well for Brooksy at the moment so I got on TikTok. TikTok's popping off so I'm going to film for TikTok as well. Look, are you hungry? So what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and get him to eat out of my hand. So I'm gonna hold the mullet like this and see if he'll eat it. And if he doesn't eat it out of my hand, I'll just drop it in and I'm sure he's gonna bop it. So he looks like he's pretty ready right now though. Come on, Anthony. Okay, here we have the mullet. He knows, man. Here we go. Anthony versus Mullet. Try and hold the Mullet there. Like that. Oh! Gone! Gone, Anthony! You're a weapon! Oh my god! Hey! Check this out! Look at that. That Mullet. He didn't think twice about that. That was psycho. Well, that two hour mission to get two bait fish is all of a sudden totally worth it. There he goes, tails slowly disappearing. Alrighty, that's it for the first update of the fish tank setup and the feedings and stuff. Leave a comment below on what you think 
I should film with him. Obviously, the feeding's really cool. I'm getting another fish as well, and we kind of want to deck out the tank a bit better with some weed and other logs and rocks and stuff and try and make it look real cool. Like I said in the film, I'm totally oblivious to all of this stuff, so any help would be greatly appreciated. I'll put the link for the Aquariums Alive guys in the description below. They helped me out heaps with this, so if you're thinking about getting a tank and you're around this area, make sure you hit them up. Um, they're super helpful and they're super onto it, so get onto it and big cheers to those guys. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you soon.